Shit. Oh! lost their lives in today's accident, including NBA legend Kobe Bryant. Kobe was an extraordinary athlete who thrilled and entertained sports fans around the world for a generation. Tyson Chandler played with Kobe. Right? He played, did yep. he get a couple of different stints with the Lakers? He's been like that. He'll get back in the ballgame. 
They have decided that whoever wins the tip, and in this case, Toronto, they are going to let the shot clock run out because of the number 24 to honor Kobe Bryant. Fitting. Appropriate. As Fred Van Vliet holding on to it and the crowd recognizing what this means. Sean, how did these guys play? I don't know, you tell me. Uh, it'd be tough for me in this situation. As a, as a man who, I'm 53 years old, and I've dealt with a lot of death in my time. And one of the things that has helped me deal with, you know, my family died in a car accident in 1993. One of the things that kept me going is the fact that while they were here, we lived and we made a lot of memories together. And when they're gone, that's all that you have are the memories that you make, that you made while they were here. And for those Kobe fans that are out there that are feeling like I feel right now, just try and think of all the joy that he brought you making the highlights that you remember um, for all the Laker fans that the championships that he brought um, that put smiles on your faces. Those are memories that you're going to have to rely on going forward. And um, as, as sad a moment as it may be right now, um, we were blessed to have such a talented player to bring us the amount of joy uh, and happiness, especially, like I said, for Laker fans and NBA fans as a whole. Um, to have this guy for as long as we did and to be able to witness uh, his greatness on the court, um, his popularity overseas in China, a guy that can speak fluent uh, Italian and mm -hmm. Spanish and other languages. Um, you know, it's, it was a blessing for us to, to even have him as long as we, we were able to have him. Let's Uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, you know, uh, I just don't have a lot to say. I, uh, the news is just devastating to everybody uh, who knew him, known him a long time. And, uh, You know, he, he just, he, mean, he means a lot to me, obviously. Um, you know, he was such a great opponent, you know. Um, it's what you want in sports. Um, he had that, that DNA that, um, that very few athletes can ever have. You know, the, the Tiger Woods and the, the Michael Jordans, you know. Um, it's funny. I, uh, I was getting to know him more since he retired, you know, um, yeah, this is, this is a tough one. I don't, uh, I mean, we have to go play. Uh, I, I mean, the, the news is just so devastating for, for Vanessa and, and his, and his family. And, um, there's just so many people he touched, you know, um, and, you know, it's, it's looking at my young players and, and seeing how emotional, uh, they are. Um, they didn't even know him, you know, and uh, it just tells you how far his reach was. So, um, I mean, this is just shocking news for all of us. And sorry, I don't have a lot to say. Uh, I just can't uh, I have to go talk to a team uh, before a game and tell them to play a game. <laughs> It's very difficult for me to put in words how I feel about the loss of Kobe Bryant.
as a young boy, I met him when he was 11 or 12 years old. I was friends with his dad, Joe. We were uh, former uh, adversaries. Joe played for the 76ers, but he was a good friend and uh, someone that I shared a friendship. And it's hard for me to uh, understand now how this is affecting Joe and his wife. So uh, for, to Kobe's family, I, I want to send my most sincere and heartfelt uh, regrets and prayers. And my thoughts are with you guys. Kobe was a, an incredible family man. He loved his wife and, and daughters. He was an incredible athlete and a leader in a, in a lot of ways. He inspired a whole generation of young athletes. He was one of the first ones to leave high school and come into the NBA and do so well, dominating the game and becoming one of the best scorers that the Los Angeles Lakers has ever seen. I had the privilege of being there when he scored his 81-point game, and it was something that I will always remember as one of the highlights of uh, the things that I have learned and observed in sports. Kobe, my thoughts are with you, absolutely. Rest in peace, young man. It, this loss is, it's, it's just hard to comprehend. Go with God.